So Jade, the new physio and the uh, brains behind this operation. For us novices, can you tell us a little bit more about exactly what the polar runs involve? Okay, so the polar run um, involves a set of six runs and the distances that the players are running is um, a 50 yard distance and they have to cover that there and back three times and then they do a 10 yard um, there and back. Um, and after the three times they've done the 50 yards there and back. Um, and so that completes one set. And then they do that set six times. And they have a 70 second rest interval in between the sets. Um, and so the idea and the theory behind it um, is it's kind of interval running. So it mimics the fitness that the players will have to perform during the match. And I understand this is something that's sort of been tried by Man City amongst a few other clubs, so is this the way forward? Yeah, I mean, um, lots of the top clubs do it as a way of their fitness, and like I said, it's, it, mon it um, reflects how the players um, would have to work hard in, in, a, in a match situation, so it's really good um, scale to sort of see how fit the players are and how well they're going to cope with the 90 minutes match. And the players obviously did this when they first came in for pre-season. What was the uh, difference in timings like this time around? Um, everyone seemed to have improved remarkably and the team spirit of all, all the lads was just incredible. They were all cheering each other on and um, you could tell that everyone really wanted to improve and, and beat their old time. So that was, it was really good to see. And what's the recovery period from something like this? Like obviously there's another game coming up on Tuesday. Are all the players going to be okay? Yeah, yeah. We've had our ice baths afterwards as well. So um, the, the recovery should be fine. Um, they, they should be fit enough really anyway to, to deal with this sort of run. Um, so yeah, Tuesday they'll be fine for Tuesday. And I noticed you had other people holding the clipboards and the stopwatches. Was that to uh, save your reputation? <laughs> um, I don't have. I wish I had eight hands and eight <laughs> legs, but unfortunately, I need um, needed a little bit of help to, yeah, to help with the timing. <laughs> so, Elliot, the second set of polar runs this afternoon. How did they go? Um, yeah, I think the boys are looking strong. Um, definitely improving from the last time we done it, just under a month ago. Um, I think everyone's looking fit and ready to go for the season. And how much do you notice that difference between now and when the boys did it when they first came in? Um, you can just tell from when everyone come back, each group, um, they're all in similar groups as we've done before. You can see everyone's running stronger, everyone looks fitter. Um, and obviously they take the times and everyone's times are coming in a lot better. Obviously, a lot of people think professional footballers have got quite an easy life. I think days like today are when it's an exception to the rule, no? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think if you watch the, the polar run session, you'll see sort of how, how hard the boys work um, and how intense the training is. Um, you know, no one sort of holds back, everyone goes like full for all. Um, and you can see after the, after the runs, by the reaction of the boys, you can see how tired they are and how much they put into it. And just to give fans some sort of idea, I mean, what what would you compare those runs to? What is it like, sort of, towards the end of a match when you have to put in um, a sprint? I mean, what, yeah, what's it like? Um, even like the first sort of set of runs you do, um, it just sort of takes you back to in the game about 70 minutes when you've got to sort of bust the gut to get up and down the field. Um, they're just brutal, brutal runs. And just from watching it, I notice there's a lot of encouragement between the players for each other. That's, uh, that's important for the season ahead, no? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think there's a few new boys that have come in, but everyone looks like a good bunch of lads. Um, everyone's got together, um, a real good team spirit, um, and that's only going to bode well for the season. So, Bonds, that was your first taste of the Polar Runs with Barnet. How did you find it? Yeah, um, it was an interesting experience. Um, it's a tough run, and um, the lads are on about it all the time, so um, it was good to finally test it out and see how it went. And how tough exactly was it? Yeah, it was, it was a tough one, test your fitness, um, but the speed endurance work well. It was um, very good. And uh, how did it compare with sort of other drills you've been made to do during previous pre-seasons during your career? Um, yeah, it's a little bit different, but I think it's more realistic to football when um, football is about speed and endurance, so um, it's a great run to test that. And it was obvious there was a lot of, sort of encouragement between the lads as everyone was doing it. Is that sort of spirit going to be really important as the season approaches? Yeah, um, there's a great togetherness and the gaff has created a great atmosphere and the lads are fantastic and bought into everything he's got to say, so um, there's a good togetherness in the sport.